very often you hear the term Gnosticism and the, and the Gnostics, it's spelled Gnostic, but don't, don't pronounce it that way. It comes from the Greek term Gnosis. There you can use the hard G, Gnosis, which means knowledge, but in the case of the Gnostics, a special kind of interior knowledge that the masses don't know about, but they do. And if you then buy into their cult, uh, then they'll give you the secrets of this inner knowledge. And it's an early Christian heresy, probably one of the earliest. Uh, they would say the four gospels are great, you know, for normal people, but here's what they really mean. And of course, no two Gnostic teachers ever agreed on what they really mean. And so they were misleading followers of Jesus even as, well, as early as the end of the first century. And then in the second and third century, they had all their special little cultic uh, schools of Gnosticism. You got to remember, the New Testament has not been completed yet. And imagine how difficult it must have been to counter heresy in the early church when you didn't have a normal canon or, or uh, scriptures as your constitution. It's a wonder the early church ever made it in so many ways. They had a two, two front war to fight, an interior war against Gnostic heresy, an external war against the Roman Empire that's trying to uh, eradicate 